dear students welcome to all of you in this video lesson of b8 first year of maulana azad national urdu university today we will have a discussion on communicative approach its characteristics techniques goals and its merits and demerits the topic is prescribed in the second unit the name of the unit is different approaches and theories to language learning and teaching this course absolutely pedagogy of english exclusively for both regular and distance mode students of b8 in this video lesson we will try to find out the answers of these questions the questions are what is communicative approach what are the characteristics and technique of communicative approach what are the goals of communicative approach the last what are the merits and demerits of communicative approach after watching this video we will be enabling you to understand what communicative approach is all about to know the characteristics and technique of communicative approach to understand what are the major goals of communicative approach and you will be familiar with what is merits of communicative ap approach as well as demerits of communicative approach for an introduction communicative approach is an approach that highlights the importance of real communication for learning to take place in other words we would say instead of focusing the acquisition of grammar and vocabulary it aims at developing learners communicative competencies with an enhanced focus on real life situation in our earlier video i was explaining the major principle of grammar translation method that was nothing but the their preference on acquisition of grammar and vocabulary here in communicative approach the communicative competency is given the preference the goal of this approach to teach a real life language a real life it does mean that the functional language not formal language that is embedded with full of grammatical rules we know formal language is nothing but a language it is full of grammatical rules it is embedded with grammatical rules it is very difficult to learn the functional language is nothing but the language which is used by the common people in our society to become communicatively competent implies the knowledge of grammatical system as well as performance here grammar is being taught intuitively the way which we have learned grammar of mother tongue we didn't know that we were learning the grammar of mother tongue the goal here suggested by american social linguist del hathaway himes is telling that the goal of communicative approach is to improve communicative ability linking classroom language with the language outside the classroom there should be a connection between the classroom language and the languages which is people are talking in the outside the classroom language acquisition instead of language learning language acquisition or what is the difference between language acquisition and language learning language acquisition is a process i already explained you that it is through we have learned our mother tongue we didn't know that we were learning a first language or mother tongue that is nothing but the language acquisition it is a conscious unconscious process it doesn't have a it doesn't require to have a drill practices or form, formal classrooms it is learned absolutely from our parents instead whereas in the case of language learning it should have or it require to have a formal schooling with the help of the teacher etc etc let us have a little history on this method communicative approach began in britain in 1960s as a replacement to the earlier structural method and this is partly in response to chomsky's criticism of structural theories of language and partly based on the theories of british functional linguist michael halliday communicative approach 
basically refer to the functional notional approach. What is the meaning of the functional notional approach? What people want to do with language that is a function, what meaning people want to convey that is a notions. For example, for the functions we will be informing, we will be asking some, something, we will be agreeing, we will be requesting and arguing with other, other people and we will be questioning. The example for notions such as time, quantity, space, location. It was Noam Chomsky's theory in 1960s focused on competencies and performance in language learning as a rea reaction against the structural approach. Structural approach is given more preference or importance to the structures or the forms. The main full sentence is given the importance in structural approach. That is being criticized by Noam Chomsky in 1960. In 1970, it was being criticized by Michael Halliday, who introduced the wider area of idea of communicating competency. Let us have an idea on which are the major characteristics of a communicative approach. Language learning means acquiring proficiency to communicate. Second, emphasize on the functions of language rather than the rules. Trail and error is considered as a part of language learning. Language cannot be learned through rote memorization. Meaning here, meaning is given importance than the form. I have already explained in structural approach, meaning is given importance. Here in functional approach, the form is giving the importance. Classroom should provide opportunity for rehearsal for real life situation and provide opportunity for real communication. Language should be taught by integrating language skills. The integration of language skills is we will be learning first listening skill. We will be listening first, then we will be going for the speaking, then we will be coming to the reading, eventually we will be coming to the writing skill. That is integration of the skills. This is following the communicative approach. Now we will be seeing what are the techniques used in communicative approach. First one is role play. Individual or group enacts the role of others. It is an excellent strategy or technique helpful for studying social behavior and language learning. Second technique is interview. It is popular as well as appropriate activity for group work. Here students can ask and answer. Opinion sharing. It is suitable for higher level class. It contains exchange of various opinion. They will be sharing different opinions based on the different topics. Information gap. Information gap is an activity where learners are missing the information. That missing information will be completed with the help of other students. This idea is basically from sociolinguistic or socioconstructivist Vygotsky. His collaborative learning is talking about information gap. Scavenger hunt, a game in which player to find out specified items within a particular period of time. Here in language classes, scavenger hunt activity can be done in a such a way that we will be hiding some words, some verbs, then we will be telling to the students to search for the words, then they will be filling that words with the help that sentence with the help of that words. Another activity is brainstorming. It is basically an activity designed to promote creativity. It is a form of discussion which enables the group to do collective creative thinking. Maris of communicative approach. Learning will be self-generating exercise teacher as a facilitator. Here in communicative approach, the role of the teacher is very meaningful. He will be giving the ideas to the students as a facilitator, as a motivator. Working in a groups give more confidence to the students. Increase of fluency in the target language. 
contextualization, contextualization leads to real communication. In the classroom, the teachers are making the real context, context to make the communication real. The lesson are more student centered. Judicious use of mother tongue is allowed. The class will be allowed to the use of judicious use of mother tongue. Demerits of this approach. Communicative competency cannot be realized in an overcrowded classroom. In a context like India, it is absolutely not practicable in the case of communicative approach. Average teacher cannot be succeeded to help students in attaining communicative competencies. Focus on fluency, not accuracy. Students with low proficiency in the target language may find difficult to participate in oral communicative activities. It is a last demerits of communicative approach. In this video, we have discussed what is communicative approach, what are the characteristics and techniques of communicative approach, what are the goals of communicative approach, what are the merits and demerits of communicative approach. You can read more about this topic from the books and other resources you are watching on your screen. You can also contact with us on this address. Dear students, that is all for now. We will be meeting on next class with another topic. Thank you.